Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on another scenario on the Let's Defend. So this scenario we are going to working on is part of the DFIR. Um, so we are going to working on the ransomware attack. Yes, uh, this scenario is just released today. And uh, uh, so let's get started. So, so basically this scenario is you need to analysis uh, ransomware and uh, um, so I already downloaded this uh, file so the, the file memory dump is uh, 321 and it's about a 2 gigabyte file and you also need to download the red line if you haven't so I'm going to jump switch to my um, virtual machine so 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 be sure to do this in a VM because this is a malicious uh, malware, a malicious ransomware. So you need to uh, act and be cautious, being really cautious when interacting with it. So uh, when you're on the Windows machine, be sure to um, disable your Windows firewall uh, real-time monitor so that your file wouldn't be deleted. And uh, um, so once you finish that, once you, once you downloaded all your files and uh, you install the red line, um, so you can install the red line at the FireEyes official website. So once you install, um, install this, uh, install the the red line, you can uh, open the memory. So open this, open the analysis session one. So. Um, so you can do an investigation based on it. So I already already started uh, opened it with the red line. So let's get in, uh, started. So the first question is, um, please you please you found the drop DLL include the whole path include the DLL file. So um, obviously this is a ransomware. So we can use um, in the red line. There is a really good. Uh, feature is a timeline so we can use a uh, timeline to um, to locate this DLL file so so you what you want to do is that you want to um, you want to filter out the you want to make sure that your, your timestamp is um, you switch your time stamp from the uh, latest time to the oldest time and you want to uh, you want to deselect deselect all the uh, options because by default there will be more uh, more options will be selected so you want to only select the created so you will be narrow down your results so you won't get into uh, too much results at the same time so what we're gonna search for the first question is uh, we're going to looking for the DLL um, so we can search for the DLL Oops, sorry. Uh, .dll. So the the actually the first one is our answer. Um, so we know that we, we see that here that we uh, this this scenario is very uh, it's not too hard. So we have this. Uh, really obvious this uh, user charts um, this ransomware dropped one of the malicious DLL into the users uh, temporary folders and the DLL uh, name is mpsvc.dll so that that will solve our first questions so we can we can copy this to our notepad and uh, we can put this um, this line as one of the answers. So all the um, be sure that the on the let's defend the, the answer format. The answer format is is the brackets answer and the brackets. So so that is our first questions. Um, yeah. Mpsvc.dll. That is our first questions. Um, so I'm going to just write it down like this. And uh, the next question is um, identify what is MD5 hash for the DLL. So this one, this one is pretty obvious as well. 
So you will have this uh, in the red line, um, all the files will be have automatically MD5 hash being calculated for you. So you will have this hash available um, for you di directly. So you can just use that as your answer. And the next question is, what is the name of the ransomware nodes that got dropped? So uh, typically, the ransomware, they will use like, uh, they, they, they will be really similar to like a readme file on the GitHub. So uh, once the, once all your files being encrypted, it will be, um, usually the ransomware will be used a readme to to give you uh, to ask for the ransom. So let's search for the readme file. Yeah, so um, so it's actually I already saw it early. So um, but I think I just missed it. Yeah, it's at the beginning. Um, no. I saw it early, like I just uh, like skipped it. Yeah, actually, let's let's go switch back to the DLL. So because I already saw it early, so when I search for the DLL, um, uh, shoot, it should be pr super easy one. This one, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so we see that we see here that it was not being highlighted, but we see that here we have this um, readme.txt um, under the user public folders. So all these files was being encrypted and the, the ransomware was dropping this readme file to asking for the ransom. Uh, ransom. So, so I'm going to copy this. Um, so the answer is uh, the answer is asking for the readme files uh, only the file name so uh, that is the answer and for the next question um, what is the url that has initial payload was been downloaded from include the whole url with the payload so this one uh, it's actually super easy as well so you can search um, so you can search for the in the red line, there is a function called file download history. So you can use this function to locate the to locate the malicious uh, files. So so if you scroll all the way down, um, you will find that this this really um, because all all the other URLs either is a Google or Microsoft. So this URL is actually stand out. Uh, first of all, its download type is manual, so it's being initiated by the user, and uh, we see that it's a, it is an IP address, and uh, so it is IP address being download, downloaded to the Charles um, his download folder. So this is obvious, uh, really obvious that uh, because normal user. Um, because the IP address is could be indicate that. Uh, there's something is going on. Um, so let's use this as our answer. So this is really obvious that the, the ransomware uh, initiated a, a network connection and download this file. So, uh, so our answer is asking for to include the whole URL. So we need to uh, just copy this to um, to the to the file uh, to as an answer. So this is our answer. Um, for the next question, the ransomware drops a copy of the legitimate application into the temp folder. Please provide the file name, including the extension. So um, so this one is. You are going to find it in the timeline again. So what you can search, um, what you can search is because we know that the user Charles was being infected by the ransomware, so we can search for the 
we can search for his uh, temporary folder, his app data temporary folder. So uh, what we can do is um, we can search for his folder. So users Charles app data local temp. So this is where the questions hints us hints us one of the legitimate application was being dropped into the temp folder. So um, so if you don't know what MSMP uh, ENG is, um, I'm going to do actually. I'm. I think it is uh, defenders. Uh, defenders executable for the Microsoft. So, um, because this is like a really obvious one. I think M MSMP uh, ENG exe. Yes. So this one. So it is a core process of the Windows Defender. Um, so it is a process for the Windows Defender. So it is a legitimate uh, application, but it was being um, it was being downloaded to the uh, to the user Charles uh, temporary folder. So let's copy this as the answer. So the format for the question uh, is, let's say the it's asking for the executable. So our answer should be uh, brackets msmpeng.exe and the bracket. So this is our answer. And then the next question, the last question is, what is the name of the ransomware? So this one isn't hard. So you just need to search doing slightly doing some OSINT. So so what I did is I searched for the MD5 on the on the Google. You only only thing you need to do is search for the MD5 on the Google and uh, perhaps you can add a uh, uh, ransomware. So we know that um, the ransomware name thread name is this one. Uh, or you can use virus total. It will give you back same um, same result if you search that DLL file. So it was being flagged as a, uh, by forty five different vendors as a malicious uh, ransomware. So it it is still active active uh, ten days ago. Uh, so, um, so the the answer for this one is uh, this name over here. So you just need to put it over here. So that is for today. Um, Thank you guys for watching this video and a uh, big shout out to the Let's Defend to put out this uh, very awesome um, scenario to practice. And uh, if you're not aware what uh, Let's Defend is, be sure to check out my previous videos. They have, um, they, they, they are designed for the SOC analysts. So uh, if you are interested, uh, you can also check for the other um, use cases. They have the, the monitoring uh, alerts so you can uh, play around so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys I hope you guys have a great uh, evening